The Road to the Stars was an unusual production for the studio. Every bureaucrat, both from the studio and Moscow, knew that the film would be expensive to make. Khrushchev was told, why do you want to make this fantastic science fiction film? Why don't you make a film about the production of beetroots or potatoes instead? But he wasn't that kind of person. He wanted to make the road to the stars. The old editing suite. It was here Kluzhansev edited his films, creating the illusion of an advanced society that was not only capable of leaving the Earth's atmosphere, but traveling the universe at will. The road to the stars proved to me that I did the right thing. One must envisage the future. People should be able to see that life can be changed radically. It was important to Kluzhansev that his vision of the future was scientifically correct. During his work on the film, he was in close contact with the engineer and rocket expert, Kikon Ravov. He was the right-hand man for Korolov, the head of the secret Russian space program. Since the war, he had worked with his team on the construction of the rocket, which would be sent into space and orbit around the planet. They are close to achieving their goal. At this time, Kruzhansev begins work on a script about the story of the invention of the rocket and the future of landing on foreign planets. It wasn't only the film which was a sensation. By a twist of fate, its release coincided with a historic event. The Soviet Union launches the world's first satellite. They call it Sputnik. Before Sputnik, we spoke of space travel as something purely theoretical. After Sputnik, it was like we touched the heavens. We ran out into the street, looked up and listened for the beep. We imagined that when a star moved, it must be Sputnik. At that time, my father was making the film The Road to the Stars. It was in Yalta, and we were all there. That's why when Sputnik was sent up, it felt like a family event. Suddenly it was a film about a space rocket and not potatoes that piqued the interest of the film bureaucrats in Moscow. Their attention was turned towards The Road to the Stars. Try to imagine how the bureaucrats in Moscow reacted. 
They phoned all the time and asked, how far have you got with the film? We're in the process of editing the finished version. Hurry! They phoned and sent telegrams. You must shoot some extra sequences with Sputnik and edit them into the finished film. So, we shot Sputnik over the pyramids, the Taj Mahal, wherever. Details are paramount for Kluzhansev. The warmth in the space capsule, the cosmonauts' uniforms and helmets. He even asked Tikhon Ravov about the exact distance to the Earth and the exact speed of orbit. Tikhon Ravov's answers were exceptionally precise and they are reflected in the finished film. Good evening, I'm Walter Cronkite. Early this year, in a CBS News special report called Where We Stand, the 20th century pictured the challenge of Russia's Sputniks and the age of space they introduced. In the three months since then, three American satellites have followed the Sputniks into orbit. A fourth is due to be launched this week. We've joined the race into space. <laughs> Recently, Russian leaders have been preparing and educating the public for great adventures in space with a film called Blazing a Trail to the Stars. Now, here for the first time in this country is an excerpt from that film, Moscow's prediction of how space will be conquered by Russian scientists, Russian spaceships, and Russian spacemen. The hour for which people have been waiting for centuries, man's first flight into cosmic space. As a total surprise, on a quiet Sunday evening, uh, we were watching uh, Sunday night TV, and uh, there was a Walter Cronkite series called The 20th Century. And it was about space, space travel, and the, uh, what was going on with the space program, which uh, would, had just been recently uh, received a, 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 a big push because of the launch of the Sputnik and suddenly Americans were interested in space and what the Russians were doing. Walter Cronkite announces, we can get a glimpse of it by these scenes from a motion picture called The Road to the Stars and lo and behold here comes 15 minutes of this incredible footage of spaceships and space stations and cargo rocket launches and a landing on the moon.